if patients don't feel we're the best when they encounter us online or when they make that first phone call, then essentially we're not the best or they won't even know it. Perception really is reality. Welcome to Success Confidentials nine minutes every week that'll level up your practice. If you're a healthcare visionary obsessed with patient experience, team culture, marketing, and growth, you're in the right place. We are too. We're Lauren and Christine, the patient whispers. <laughs> we worked together for four years as leaders in a real premium practice. We did not play in the traditional healthcare sandbox and believe human emotions drive all success and it really really worked we grew our cash pay practice and averaged 60 percent year over year and on social media we grew our followers from 1,000 to 14,000 in just two years generating millions in annual revenue from social media alone so now we're out here sharing what made us wildly successful so you can be too let's have some fun and <laughs> let's dive in <laughs> Welcome back to Success Confidentials. Today, we are really diving into why we talk so much about emotions, patient emotions, emotional marketing, the three emotions cycle to care and conversion. You hear emotions from us a lot. In healthcare, the touchy feelies can really be written off because we're so focused, as we should be, mm -hmm. on the technical side of healthcare, the hard skills. Yeah, our technology, our outcomes. And I love that you just said touchy feelies because <laughs> I think sometimes that's what people hear when they hear emotions is, ah, it's, you know, just touchy feely. It's how mushy. Does that, <laughs> yeah, how does that matter in our practice? It matters, and let's talk about it. This is really the soft side of healthcare, and we're talking about the future of practices that need to appeal to the patient's emotions mm -hmm. when it comes to premium or cash pay procedures and services. And we have to appeal to patient emotions because we know studies show us that 95% of spending decisions and premium procedures, these specialty services are spending decisions, these decisions are made in the emotional area of the brain. So we can be the best practice. We can have the best technology. We can have the most beautiful center. If patients don't feel we're the best when they encounter us online or when they make that first phone call, then essentially we're not the best or they won't even know it. Perception really is reality. And it's up to us as a practice to control their reality and how they perceive us to the best of our ability. And this conversation will do just that. It'll help you rethink how to shape perception online and in your practice for your marketing, you and your team. To illustrate how perception is reality, we just did a secret shopper call with a wonderful practice. And in this city, it was really them and their competitor down the street. On paper and in reality, this practice was by far the superior practice, our client who engaged us for the secret shopper. They have the best technology. Their practice is absolutely beautiful. The surgeon is by far one of the most prestigious surgeons in the country in this specialty. They really invest in the patient experience. When you walk in the door, they are amazing. But based on the secret shopper, we would have picked the inferior practice down the street. Why? Because of the way we perceived the practice from the first touch points of online and inquiry, you know, the phone call, it felt like the inferior practice, honestly, was the best just based on those first two touch points. And if you think about it as a patient, I mean, that's the deciding factor if you're going to go into a practice and really get to experience them or not. So the difference was the inferior practice made us feel like they were the best, even though in our opinion, they were not. Their website felt clean, intuitive, easy to navigate. What they said online made us feel safe, made us feel like they cared for their patients and were passionate about what they did, made us feel like they were really credible. Their social media was absolutely thriving. There were videos of patients all over. People were commenting and posting. There were videos of the doctors sharing tips and information. And when we called, the person who answered felt like a friendly guide who really took us through the process of what it was like to have this procedure and just felt really great. Versus our client, who is the better practice in real life, online 
find their website felt dated. All of the good text was buried in paragraphs of text that as a consumer, you're a skimmer, you're going to miss and it feels overwhelming. It felt like they were projecting a lot of facts and information to the consumer, but not really caring for the person on the other side of the screen. Their social media was full of stock images. It in no way felt like a living, breathing version of their practice online. And you really couldn't see behind the scenes Mm -hmm. of the practice, what to expect in the practice from social media alone. Honestly, the online reviews just weren't as good as well. And at the end of the day, perception is reality. A friend of mine, just this week we were talking and she had a consultation for an elective procedure. She had um, two different consultations. She's in healthcare. So she knew technically which surgeon was probably the better surgeon of the two, which one she, she leaned toward trusting more because of his reputation in the healthcare community. But she went to both for the consultations. And she was talking about this. She said, if I were a patient and I didn't have this behind the scenes knowledge, I would have picked the surgeon that doesn't have as much experience because he made me feel so much better during the consultation than the surgeon I know is probably the superior surgeon that I should probably trust more with this procedure. He really was lacking all the soft skills. And I left that consultation not feeling heard, seen, listened to, uh, or, or really safe, even though technically I knew I was probably more safe with him than the other doctor. So even when it comes to those in-person interactions, perception is reality. Our number one takeaway today is don't ignore the emotional soft side of healthcare because we know from personal experience this is a game changer. Our growth skyrocketed and our revenue increased tremendously when we pivoted and started really paying attention to this soft side of patient care and marketing. So you don't want to miss out on those hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in cash pay or specialty revenue when we really have to pay attention to today's consumer and how they feel. Look at your website, your social media, your online reviews, how your team handles patient inquiries over the phone and look at it from the perspective of the patient. Yeah. How does it all feel? As always, we don't leave you without support. We have an online assessment and review where we can look at this for you and tell you how it feels to your consumer. And we also have a really amazing team training program to invest in those soft skills for every single person who works with patients on your team. If we can help you with anything related to today's topic, use the link to schedule a free 30 minute synergy session just for new practices. For our existing practice clients, you already know where to find us. Now we want to hear from you. What resonated? What other topics are hot for you right now? We want to know all about it in the comments. We're just a comment away. So if you have any questions, we personally respond to all comments and DMs. If you're not subscribed yet, make it easy on yourself to see new episodes and reference topics that are helpful by hitting the subscribe button.